we have let Jesus be the fulfilling of the law in us and we put on the armor of God so God is our righteousness um, even the wicked's good is evil God is I've done that and so they're judged by their own works um, God says that their works and deeds are evil and that God is still on the throne no matter what they've done or no matter what they say and their judgments will come at a time that they're not thinking it's going to come I think that this testimony of the, the word of the Lord, the, the witness of God, is almost up. Against them, because you can see in, from the beginning to the end, it's, it's open, it's obvious who they are. Uh, Matthew 24 and 25 uh, are obvious of who the serpent head is and who made their, the serpent their head, the, the head of the serpent that's going to be crushed and in Revelation um, it's pretty pretty clear um, it's a spirit of iniquity it's them going leaning on their own understanding their own hearts and making one man their um, decider of things and that is their their uh, king that they have made king over them and not God's chosen king and their priests that they have made over them which are their chosen men versus God's king and God's priest Jesus Christ the high priest and even though God still uses people in that Jewish faith and the high priest over there that they call a high priest um, they're gonna know these things they're gonna know that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father they're gonna know and they're gonna cry out they're going to see the Word of God and what he's talking about and they're going to understand the foundation the building of the third temple they're going to understand what what the prophets were talking about they're going to understand what Jesus was talking about when when God opens their eyes and gives them their understanding through whoever is speaking to them and they're going to know that there's a judgment coming and that there's a recompense for all the evil and they're gonna to have to make a choice on who they're gonna serve and if they've vowed to Baal and have defiled themselves in a way that I mean the scriptures say that they're gonna be judged out of their books their works their deeds and I wouldn't as I wouldn't if I was them I would not try to escape my judgments <laughs> um, I've had to had you know they've they are hypocritical and they have judged all of us and oppressed all of us and what do we say to that I've already said I forgive them but I knew you know it, something didn't feel right like how are they why are they judging me you know this is I feel like they're hypocrites I always felt like they were hypocrites any judgment of them is is it seemed it seemed like it was hypocritical just like whenever the police who are doing the wicked things not to go and don't go against the police or anything I'm not saying that um, God will take care of them all uh, the thing is is uh, they set up their own army their their armed for, for forces is, is it called forces and their their fortresses my habitation is is God and the armed forces that I have are not carnal but mighty at pulling down strongholds and everything that exalts itself above God and that is worshipped and that is called God because I know him and he knows me and knowing him and him giving my, me my understanding I don't take any of it as I got this information for myself this is all praise and honor to the, Lord, the Most High all praise and honor to our the Word of God Jesus Christ the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us the Word was with God and the Word was God the Prince of Peace and I hope to see the whole earth full of his glory that lamps are lit over the whole earth bright 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 at the coming of the Lord that he would see the faith of men and be glorified and to the praise and, and honor of the Father praise the Lord 
and but we do see that there is there is a time where where the eagles are gathered so there's the carcasses and we see the catacombs at the at the vatican um so you kind of know you know this whole mystery babylon is very clear of what it is and inside their vessels because god will break open a pot because he's the potter he will break open up a, a pot and a, a break a pot and a serpent will a viper will break out why because they made the serpent their head and they were seated by the wicked one their deeds the, their what they taught themselves what what they did how they built their treasures on earth the, the cities that they built was on blood on death my dad's my real dad's um, parents his dad was died in building of a bridge um, my my real dad's grandma was hit by a train these are devices and things that they build and people die coal miners their lungs would be uh, hurt and they would die people who went and dug in for gold you know bomb you know dynamite and everything people died uh, the native indians who built the cities the iron cities of babylon like new york died falling off of those big high rises mystery babylon has a lot of blood on their hands and the prophets also and the, that's the cup of god's indignation for all the blood from from righteous abel um, because this these are spirits that we're, we're dealing with because they're not mankind and the kings of the earth that commit fornication with her and we know that these people call themselves angels whole Hollywood stars call themselves stars. Stars are angels. I should tell you a little bit about who they are. They call themselves angels because the angels fell from heaven, remember? And you have to understand that time in the Bible is not like you think it is. Um, men of old, men of old, old time, um, that he's talking about in the epistle of Jude, before of old ordained to this condemnation, spiritual wickedness um, the Lord has shown me about the um, Ro to be Romanized <laughs> Olympics and uh, all of these buildings that look like Rome and Greece and uh, Turkey's buildings they all look have the dome and everything <laughs> so we see that you know they're they're living out of the flesh Galatians 5 17 for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other and then it says now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication uncleanness lasciviousness idolatry witchcraft hatred variance of em emulations wrath strife seditions heresies envies murders drunkenness revilings and such like that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God and then we see the fruit of the spirit is love God agape love God's love joy joy in the spirit peace peace with God long-suffering and peace with your brother gentleness goodness faithfulness meekness temperance against such there is no law because that's God's spirit and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections of lusts if we live in the spirit let us so walk in the spirit let us not be desirous of vainglory provoking one another envying one another bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ um, and God says to think on these things think on think on heavenly things in Philippians 4 a not earthly things what have they done they have transferred the minds of the youth into think on things that are earthly and on things that are man's philosophy which Jesus warned about and science falsely their little tricks and loving to make a lie about things um, these are the giants that are the kings of the earth beloved uh, men of renown great men of the earth it says in the the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ and uh, Genesis talks about them in chapter 14 15 in Deuteronomy 2 these are devils archons the dead departed spirits from Sheol which is death 
You see that in the book of Isaiah. Jesus said, I chose 12 of you and one of you is a devil. These are the strong people from an old city outside the old city. It's a valley outside the old city of Jerusalem, Moab, the valley of the Rephaim, the giants. They knew how to cure themselves. Don't we have places where you can go cure yourself? These are the departed spirits, beloved. And that's why we're battling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Their spirits are like smoke, these sorcerers and liars and deceivers. They don't have the rivers of living waters in them because they're wicked, because they believe not. And one um, Jewish scientist said, um, I have become death. He said that because he had created the A-bomb. So by their devices, they destroy through their devices. And God, we serve the God of the living, not the God of the dead. And we don't serve, we definitely don't serve a God who makes, who loves people who make death. Because that would be going against his law. Just like, even though his angels have a sword, which is the word of God. And they're afraid of his holiness. That's what they're afraid of. And they destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. When they destroy, they're destroying death. They're destroying something that isn't living. They're destroying the violent ones in the earth. What did they do? They made video games that are violent, where people are killing people. People are not speaking evil, wicked words. And those words are like gnashing at each other's feet, teeth. And little children are made to, to play these games. Ruining the souls of men. And in Jerusalem they have gay pride parades. In San Francisco they have gay pride. All over the whole earth. And they're doing things in secret and lusting one after the other. And God said that that's what the angels do. Sodomites in the land. God got rid of the Sodomites in the land. So... You want to reject the cornerstone, the word of God, the chief commander in chief, Jesus Christ. Um, there's a, the word has heaven and earth kept in store for fire. The righteous indignation of God. And do we want to see the fall of our enemies? No, I don't. I told God, I go, I don't want to see a bunch of death and destruction. I don't want to see that. I just want to see you and your heavenly kingdom. Um, give him praise and thanksgiving because those are good sacrifices um, and when we're slain with the sword remember that you know um, we had to die with Christ at one point and the, the law is a schoolmaster to point to Christ all these things that I'm, that I'm saying is we've all fallen short of the glory of God we've all been uh, sinners at, before we exercised our senses and became came to the actually first came to um, the knowledge of who God is the word of God that became flesh um, the word that spoke uh, the word was with God and the word was God God spoke and everything was created the father and the son you see there in the beginning and everlasting father prince of peace you see in Isaiah wonderful counselor mighty God of his government there's no end but the wicked government will be on his shoulder and there's a time that God takes that yoke off and takes off the yoke of the fallen angels and the, that have black eyes who have become spots in our feast of love. There's a time that they will no longer be in our congregation. God will burn them up. And um, so his word, like Second Samuel said, is, is in my tongue because I've been studying for 45 years. But studying for 45 years does not mean that I had the word of God um, on my own um, he's been giving me my understanding and he put the he usually puts the words that I'm going to speak in my mouth like an hour before or he'll remind me of scriptures that he had spoken before that had been seated in my heart um, and things that he it's his word so he's the rock he's the word he's the one that um, they, they hit the rock and water poured out right <laughs> Well, God got mad about striking the rock. We don't need to strike the rock to get water to pour out. Let me just tell you right there. Because God said, don't strike the rock. Jesus is the rock. He spoke 
freely to people and then to his apostles because God gives wisdom to those that fear him, those who are um, not prideful and come to him with faith, he will give understanding to. And so he's gathering all of the outcasts right now. I was an outcast in our church, I guess you could say, and he called me to this time. So because this is a time of battle. I hope this blesses you. Agape love to you.